Hey guys, this is Jeff at Matt Kite, and this is Ryan, and we're here to give you a breakdown of wingboard leashes. All right, so what we've got here, uh, we'll start with just the, the most prevalent one out there that we're seeing, I would say the ankle leash. So within the ankle leash, you have the option to go either straight leash or coiled leash. Now, I, when I was riding an ankle leash, I started with the coil leash, as most people do. Uh, eventually, I transferred, transitioned over to a straighter leash. And the reason for that, one thing that I liked with the straight leash is it was easy to bring the board back to me without swimming for it or reaching for it. Um, because there is no give here in the, in the uh, straight leash. So just by moving my ankle, I was able to bring the board almost all the way back to me, grab it, hop up on my board really quick. The thing that I didn't like, and the reason that I would not suggest most people to start with a straight leash is, like I said, no shock absorption. You fall off your board, the board ghost rides, it's gonna hit the end of the leash and that's going to rip your ankle. And that's why this leash has a real benefit because of the coil. Uh, this ankle coil leash does have that spring, which is nice, so the board does not have any jerk on the, on the ankle or the, the leg. Even in waves, um, it gives you a gradual feel to your board. Uh, this leash is real good too because of the coil, it gets your board away from you. So I think when you're learning, uh, the coil is really good because it can get the board far away uh, and you don't feel a tug, a real hard tug, because trust me, you fall a lot. A lot of you guys that are listening and gals that are listening that have been in winging, when you're learning, you take a lot of tumbles. And so the, the pro of having the, uh, the ankle coil is that it is comfortable, the board will get away from you and you can bring it back to you. Um, Kind of the downside though that I, I found with the coil leashes is sometimes these coils, as good as they are, and they're, they're meant to be uh, springy, they can get kind of tangled up in each other and get kind of knotted, and that can cause issues. Uh, also, it can get up on your board, and nothing's more frustrating than when you first get up on foil or you're starting to get up moving and you're standing on the coil, and you don't want to move your foot because that's where you have to be to stay up on foil. So this is a lot to navigate on top of the board when this coil gets knotted like that. It can be hard to get off and it's on the board and you, st you, you stand, uh, stand on it, which is a pain. Another thing too is it can drag uh, behind you and kind of act as a rudder. Uh, depending on the size, they come in, uh, I believe, 8, 10. Let me back up, 8, 10, uh, and maybe a 12 footer, but you have to be careful with these because they can dangle in the water. So that's kind of a negative to having yeah, you bring up the point of standing on the leash here. Um, that is one thing that I liked about the uh, straight leash over the coiled leash is when I did step on it, that's a really low profile. So it was a little easier to keep riding and not be as distracted by that. Whereas this large coil, it's really hard to stand on that and continue to ride. Um, so stepping on the leash is another reason why someone may choose one leash versus another. Uh, which brings me to our next leash here. Uh, I have the waist leash, which is what I've been riding here for a while now. Uh, reason that I transitioned from the uh, ankle leash to a waist leash was solely because I was stepping on the leash. Really easy to step on the leash when you make those foot switch transitions. Uh, so having the uh, leash mounted around your waist with the coil there, keeps it up and off of the board. So every foot switch, you're not stepping on it. So I would say for someone that has got to that point where they're consistently switching their feet, waist leash might be something to look into. Now I know Jeff, you've been riding the uh, calf leash there quite yes, a bit. I have, and before I jump into that, I will say your, your typical coiled ankle leash does come with a calf leash, which is kind of nice because it raises it a little bit. You may get a little less drag. Uh, in the water. But yes, my favorite that I've ridden, again, remember I like the waist for my wing and I like to have the calf for my board. Uh, I do like this calf leash, this is by Kahi. Uh, what's nice about this, you'll notice, it does have the coil, but it's got this unique little uh, flat section, straight section. What that does is it keeps it from getting all tangled up uh, on there. Uh, I have found that to be uh, very nice. Also, it's got a, sh a smaller profile, so it doesn't, because it's attached to your calf, it doesn't dangle in the water. So that's a nice feature uh, of this calf coiled leash. Again, you don't get the tangle, 
because they've added that little straight section. Check this out. This actually, this is where it's attached to the board. This is a handle. So you can use this handle to pull your board through the water. Um, I haven't used it a lot, but on occasion, I have found it to be helpful. Instead of trying to grab the board, I can just grab this off the back of the board and, and, pull, my, and pull my board. Again, why I like the calf for the board or to my leg, again, when you're in, getting into wave riding and you're going through the break, uh, I would prefer to have the pull come from my leg and not from my waist on the board. Um, I have, like I said, put the waist one for the wing, which you do get pulled from that too when you get a big wave crushing on it. So maybe that wouldn't be as beneficial, but I, I have grown to like the separateness of it. All right, so in summary here, lots of different board leashes to choose from. What may be right for one person might not be right for another. I would say a lot of this has to do with personal preference. I agree. Um, ankle leash, very common. A lot of people go there by default. However, if you're having issues with stepping on the leash, I would say maybe that would be the point you'd want to check out the calf leash, uh, whether it's a regular coil or this uh, new Kiahi one that Jeff has here, or even the, uh, the waist leash. I would say that's where the calf and waist leash uh, really have advantages over the, the ankle leashes once you start having issues with stepping on your leash while riding. All right, guys, this has been Ryan and Jeff here with Matt Kite talking to you today a little bit about board leashes. Uh, if you've got any questions or other videos you'd like to see, drop it in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Give us a subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Um, as always, thanks for watching.